Hey! hey. Oh. Hey, it's us again, your friendly neighborhood sequence breakers, Sid. And Kodo. And yeah, and Kodo has never played this game, so I'm probably going to be leading this. He's never played a Sonic game. Well, right no. Now. Okay. I've played Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know if we can really count that. It's a pretty... It's the one with the guns in it, so yeah. It's of pretty course crappy. he's the one. He... Um, and I also but... played... I'm not sure. It's the first one that, where uh, Dr. Robotnik, or Eggman, as yeah. they call it in that game, um, he started... Well, I want to talk about this, so you're... Well, we'll get to that later, don't worry. But, yeah, the, the, the thing about this game is that it was made for the ill-fated Sega CD peripheral. It was an add-on for the Genesis. And the thing about it, the gimmick about it, is that they had to have, like, it used FMV cutscene, full-motion video cutscenes. And, like, every game seemed to be, like, like an interactive movie, a crappy interactive movie. But this is one of the few good games, because... It only has the cutscenes at the beginning and end, and these are high quality. This is high quality animation, and it's like. Is this the same type <laughs> of animation they used for the TV show? No, no, no. The TV show was made in America, the U.S. Oh, okay. But then again, actually, they had like a. Americans a Japan... had to go screw up Sonic. Well, I don't that, know. That holds a soft was part of my it? heart. Don't, don't. We're, we're is gonna start the TV, something here. Is the TV show good? Uh. It's, well, there's two ver- there's- I'll go with that later, but yeah, I, I wanna finish this, but yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, this is- this game had to have FMV cutscenes, and yet, the thing about it, like, it has similar animation to, like, a Japanese Sonic movie that came out, like, so yeah, just say I'm anime. guessing that. Just say anime, anime say. and anime. Thank you, Kodo. But yeah, an anime, and yeah, Sonic- the story with this is Sonic is, like, going to this lake to see this planet called- little planet, it shows up in front, above this lake, like, every few years or whatever, and he goes to see it, and he finds out Dr. Robotnik has turned it into, like, this Death Star type of thing. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> yes. Death Star is in this? Yes, Dr. Robotnik has a fetish for Star Wars, because he has, he has whoa, 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 tons whoa, whoa, whoa. of... Hey, they, they actually made something look kind of 3 ish there for a second. Yeah, yeah, that, but that was the only time ever, like, they, that never shows up again, like, there's never a point. I'm sure they made but, yeah, such a big the deal about with this, that. The gimmick with this game is that it's, like, back future. You have past signs and future signs. If you pa pass a past sign, then you'll go to the past of this place, and it'll be a completely different layout, and you'll go travel through time, like in Back to the Future. It so, yeah. sounds like a pre-Sonic pre Generations concept. But no, it's, but yeah, it's completely different. So yeah, you, like, it, it's more prehistoric, like, but also the thing about it is, like, the enemies are different, because in the future, the enemies literally don't work. Like, they've been rusted, they've been out of repair so it's slightly easier but you want to go to the past because if you go to the past you have to find these robot generators and if you destroy them all the robots in the zone will just blow up they'll be gone and it's like you'll take them out it's but, like changing the future but yeah the reason why you want to do that is like to get the good ending because if you get a good future for every zone you get the good ending or your other alternative is to get all the all six time zone time stones which are like the Chaos Emeralds only they don't make Sonic Super, so uh, Yeah. You don't get the you don't get to become Super Sonic in this game. Which is sad, because in the other which games ga which games do you get to like what's the perk of being Super Sonic in the older games? Um in the older games it's great to be Super Sonic because in Sonic the Hedgehog two and three and three and Knuckles, um you you get to become supersonic in the stages, so you are literally invincible in the stages and they become super easy. So it's just like an, a Mario Star mode. Except but for it's forever, constant. forever. But you have to get fifty rings for this. Now, do you, you like? Can you fly around and stuff? No, you can't or fly you around. Can't... But you go faster, and you and in 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 third game's case, I think you get a double jump. So yeah, there's that. So what's the but, deal with this? Like, I, oh yeah, yeah, these are the special stages. Like most, like every two D Sonic game has special stages, and you go to these places to get. In this case, to get time stones, and in. Sonic the Hedgehog and the other games to get Chaos Emeralds. So yeah, they're like these special gimmick stages that are like, in this game it's like pseudo three, you know, it's kind of, and you basically destroy UFOs, and if you destroy all the UFOs, I don't uh, know why they're UFOs. Are, are they UFOs or are they just like creations of Eggman? They're called UFOs. Like it says UFO in the corner right there. Oh. Okay. And like you, I I don't know why. I guess they're aliens or something. I don't know. It's not a, it's not clearly explained. But basically, you want to destroy them all. You get the time stones, and you'll get the girl. Something I'll I'll mention later. You'll get the girl. I'll, 
Wait, oh, there's a yeah. girl involved. You'll find out. I mean, Kodo. Yes. Hey. hey. I'm sorry, again. I'm not used to his internet name. <laughs> his funky internet name. But that yeah, be I out. get I get the... No one can know. No one can know his name. But I get the time stone here, so yeah, there's that. So, yeah, so but wait, it, if you... Yeah, they're what? just they're just time stones. Do they do have you, like you well, said? You can't turn into super. If you get but... all the if you get all the time stones, then you'll get perfect futures for all the zones. Why does so... Eggman want time stones? Well, does he want to change the past? He doesn't. And, like... He doesn't want the time stones, I presume. But he's like basically you just change like he actually I think he uses them to go back in time, to make the places like to put the robots there, and then eventually the... take over the world. Yeah, and you're not gonna be seeing it, but. Like, there's a bad future, and in the bad future, it's like this Terminator apocalyptic <laughs> place. Yeah, like, it's not a place you would want to live. It's like, just rusty robots and disrepair. It's like, it, it looks like shit. You wouldn't want to be there. You really wouldn't want to be there. But yeah, like, so... Yeah. Is there anything else left about this game? Or? Um... No, so I get... <laughs> no, there's plenty <laughs> well, of things special. I mean, like... It was the first... So well, okay, not really, but... It was the first CD game that was... Or, no, no, like, no. CD peripheral? No. Peripheral? Yeah, peripheral no, no, no. Peripheral. Well, for me, this was one of the first Sonic games I ever played, and it like, got me into the series. But yeah, like... Yeah, th there's little subtle touches to, like, the time travel. Like, like the music changes, for one thing, and the layout changes. Like, it has, like, all... it's. There's a lot of replay value involved in the game, unlike most Sonic games where... The thing about it is, since you're looking for these... Looking for the robot generators, it's it's not it's not set up like other Sonic games. In other Sonic games, you pretty much go from left to right, and then you get to the end. But in this game, you're encouraged to actually explore the levels. Like, they're set up like huge playground-type places, so it's like an open-world type of thing where you're just looking for these things, gathering rings, and just trying to get the perfect ending, which isn't really that big of a deal, the perfect ending, it's just like, you did a better job, but it's still nice. Your score nice. can still be the same it's pretty much, nice. can it? Well, score doesn't really or matter. Similar. Like, score, score only matters in an arcade game at an arcade, so you can put in boobs or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And you don't see it here, but if you, if you were in the, if you were in the, if you were in the present instead of the past or the future... Amy Rose would show up here and would hug you and would, like, have hearts around you. Because she is in love with Sonic the Hedgehog. She's a hedgehog also. She's a pink hedgehog. Oh, I and know what she... you're talking about. I fuck Wait, up on whoa, special whoa, stage, whoa. too. Whoa. Yeah, I fuck hey. up on that one, so I Language. edited it out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll... Oh, don't worry. I'll... <laughs> if you want, I can... No, no, that's fine. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, I fuck up on that one, so I don't show it. Because it, it's pointless if I just fuck up. And, oh, oh, this is the hardest boss ever. You're going to love how hard this boss is for me. It's going to be uh, so amazing. I, I think... <laughs> Here it comes. The hardest just... boss in Sonic history. Because I have invincibility. <laughs> He's pink because it's it's a good future. <laughs> Look at how... You just messed... You just, like... I, I, I sequence break. You, you know, if you know... Right. Because, yeah, you're not supposed to did do you, that. Did you plan that, or did... Or was I that... saw someone else do that in another playthrough, and I was like, oh, I should do that. <laughs> like, and I do that every every time now, because, yeah, it's a long-winded boss. Like, it's an easy... It's a super easy boss fight, but it takes forever. But now you're going to see Amy Rose in this next level. Oh, and that's the end of the part, so that's you won't... That's the end of part one, yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Bye. Bye. <laughs>